boys girls this is mission critical right now this is a a red alert this is something that uh you know last week week one of the modern warfare 3 uh beta i really didn't think was going to be a big deal what happened was they released the beta with maps that you know i used to really avoid skid row favela um obviously you know pop out power the the ground war map i've never played before but the multiplayer maps um with the exception of rust i i would typically avoid for like you know competitive matches and a big part of the reason i would avoid them was even back in the day like original og mw2 you could not really predict the spawn system and when i did my review of the first weekend of the beta one of the concerns that I had and now, you know, pretty much everybody has is the spawn system and people are talking a little bit more about it. And I was holding out hope. I said in my video, I'm holding out hope that the spawns were partly or hopefully mostly because of the maps that we were playing. We were playing Skid Row. We were playing Favela. They've always had bad spawns. You know what I mean? So I thought it might be a map issue versus like an internal game spawn issue and then weekend two of the beta came out and now we've gotten to play uh high rise which is i think one of the best call of duty maps ever made um it's it's perfect it, it's got the right um, i mean it's just the perfect amount of angles it has the right amount of escape routes not too many you know you play something like favela and it's got you know million you know there's windows everywhere you get on top of all of these rooftops you can jump from the street to the rooftops high rise it's like it is meant to be controlled that is really what the spawn system in my opinion should be about but i know that the developers at some point i don't know what game started it but at some point they wanted players and better players to have less control over the spawn system they didn't want one team to be able to you know capture an objective control that spawn and force a spawn where they wanted it to be but if if by the off chance, off chance that anyone from Sledgehammer Games ends up seeing this video, yes, I don't speak for, I guess, the mass majority of the, you know, casual community, but I do think I speak for the vast majority of the competitive community and even like, even average players. That's the whole goal of the game. The whole goal of the game. Like you have these objectives, right? And the way you move around the map, like say in Domination, for example, you want to control your flag and the middle flag so that the other team spawns at their flag. And you control the map and you push the other team back into, you know what I mean, their spawn. And you control it. You dominate the game. It's domination. And the other team has to fight to get control. But at a certain point along the timeline, like I said, I don't know what game it was, they started to just completely do away with that concept. And now instead, uh, I mean, there's almost, besides the points that you get, obviously, there's almost no point in capturing objectives because it does not help you with the spawns. Like, it, you, could, you could have an A and B flag and the other team just spawns a fucking A for no reason, even if your team is there. And I think that this is now being highlighted. I say this because now I've played High Rise and I thought that the spawns might make more sense. They really don't, dog. They really don't. Um, they're, they're still, and so that makes me think that this is more of, this is a deeper rooted issue. Because there's certain things like, you know, I, I was looking on Twitter and it seems like they've already, uh, you know, decreased the slide. Um, where they say something about the slide here? They decreased the, the slide canceling by like 200 milliseconds. Yeah, here we go. An update is now live in the MW3 multiplayer beta to decrease the slide to sprint delay by 200 milliseconds. Give it a try and let us know how it feels. That right there, easy fix. They just go in. I don't know exactly how they do it, but they just, they type it in. You know, it was 400, now it's 200. But after talking to people who are more knowledgeable about the matter, fixing spawns or the spawn system, that ain't 
that it ain't that easy. It ain't that easy to just go into the back end and be like, all right, we want to make them spawn at this flat. That is like an internal game issue that requires a lot of tweaking and testing and really just effort on the part of the developers. So I feel like this is a two-pronged problem. The one prong is that if sledgehammer thinks that this is an issue that they actually want to fix and they did acknowledge it they acknowledged it after the first week that they were going to look into um the spawns so they've at least acknowledged it it's going to take a lot of work you know we got a month a little bit less than a month before the game comes out so how quickly could they really overhaul the entire game spawn system not only to make it different than what it is now but make it better because i mean i'm guessing it could be worse like Worst case scenario, they go after a change and it doesn't actually help. It, j it just makes the whole situation worse. But then the second kind of prong uh, of this problem is what if they don't even think it's that big a deal? What if they like it the way it is? Obviously, at some point down the line, the developers started to think that this was a great idea because now the casual, you know, teams and player, the you know, the team that is losing is not going to be dominated by the spawn system. We're going to give them an out. You know what I mean? We're just going to let them have this one for free. Get back in there and here you go. Spawn right behind them. But that's just, I, I don't think that's what the majority of the people want. I really don't. I don't think people want to go into a random game. Even if you lose, like me, if I go into a game and I get smoked, you know what I mean? Because I'm getting spawn trapped. The other day I spawned into a high rise game. My team was getting smoked. It was like, uh, it was hard point. It was like 150 to something. It doesn't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It doesn't deter me from like wanting to do the same thing to them. I'll take that loss. I'll take that loss proudly. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to go into the next game and I'm going to try to do it back to them. I don't want a freebie. The freebie doesn't make me feel good. I don't feel good when I'm like, ah, I spawned behind you. Like I would rather get the satisfaction of working my way out of a spawn trap of working my way you know into you know power positions and then being able to exploit it that's what feels good and then i get my kill streaks and you got to bring the chopper gunner too i want it i want that too i don't know man i don't know and this is like this is actually as of now one of the last things i feel like is missing from the game and probably the biggest i think this is bigger than skill-based matchmaking and has the ability at least for the competitive community uh to make or break the game yeah if you're a casual player maybe you're not paying that close of attention to the spawns but um man the 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 spawn system for you know i mean shit i can't even say public matches because it would be the same thing for you know competitive maps and now that I've seen the spawns on high rise and knowing how competitive that map should be, it just really amplifies how random the spawn system uh, truly is. And man, when I think about playing, you know, terminal or I'm actually I'm really hyped for invasion. I think invasion is going to play incredibly for uh, things like hardpoint, you know, respawn games in uh, in MW3, but it, it could really just be ruined by uh by the spawn system so i'm hoping they get it i'm hoping they get it figured out i just don't know i just don't know if there's enough time man there's like three weeks three and a half weeks and for them i don't know i, I don't know if they're gonna be able to get it done we can hope we can hope you know i don't it's not gonna affect obviously like warzone 3 or anything but which is mainly probably what i'll be playing anyway but i would love to like enjoy public matches grind out some gbs or something like play a little bit of uh of competitive but man i don't know it's it's looking it's looking rough it's looking rough but i i'm still holding out hope i'm still holding out a little hope because they have acknowledged it already and so maybe they will take it seriously enough and really put forth the effort um to to make a change that is going to impact you know the game and uh ultimately just make it make it playable and make it fun we're just we're just trying to make it fun and make it make sense you don't need to coddle people you know what i mean i don't think people want to be coddled i think they want to win or they want to lose and learn right and um 
right now the the spawn system is is not helping people do that. They start losing and then the spawn system just bails them out. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a participation trophy. Get rid of the participation trophies. If you lose, you're getting whooped. Anyway, that's my gripe of the day. I'm still having a great time with the uh, the beta and I am hopeful, like I said, that they are going to be able to, uh, to fix this. So we'll see what they do over the next couple of days. If we get any new updates out of Sledgehammer, I will definitely let you guys know. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of the Modern Warfare 3 beta and I will catch you right back here next time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have a